Welcome back to Pittsburgh Living on KDKA TV. I'm your host, Carol Lee Espy, and today we're featuring seven excellent tri state businesses. Coming up, we'll feature Dr. Timothy Runko from Pittsburgh Dental Spa and Frank Petrosky from New Image Hair Clinic. But right now, let's welcome Dr. Ian Bulow from Upper Cervical Health Centers. Welcome to Pittsburgh Living. Thank you for having me. And the whole key to what you do is your name Upper Cervical. Yeah, Health Upper Center. Cervical so, Health Centers. Yeah. yeah. So all you do is work with this up here. Yeah, the, the Upper Cervical Health Centers is a group of offices that is actually international. We have um, three to four offices in Italy right now, as well as across the continental United States. And um, it came about out of a need, um, a pretty significant need. In the United States, we have the best um, medical system in the world, but we're also the most medicated and we're not any better for it in terms of mm. how good we feel and how long we live compared to other countries. We're really not all that, our, our, we don't stand too high in the ratings. So mm -hmm. um, one of the missing pieces that we've found keeping people from living longer and happier lives is that most people are walking around with a bit of a problem in their upper spine. And that's where we focus. I was telling you earlier in the green room, I mean, I saw someone this weekend mm -hmm. at a function and she was walking around holding the back of her and she said, it's my yeah. two upper vertebrae. Yeah. And I, so this is what you do. So why is that there? Is this because we hold our tension there? Or well, if you were to look, there? yeah, it's a, a phenomenal question. And we have this little model here that I can show you. If you were to actually look at the spine up in the upper neck, one of the things that makes it unique is that you don't actually have any discs between the neck bones. <clears throat> you probably you know how you have those spinal discs yeah. in between Where all the back bones. Where do they stop bones. then from here on up? Exactly, okay. right above and below the very top bone in the neck. There are no discs, which is why you have the great deal of motion that you have. You right. can look up and down and left and right and it not actually be a problem. You know, you can see the world. But with all of that extra mobility becomes a certain degree of instability. Okay. And so if any area of the spine becomes misaligned, usually the first area is going to be the upper cervical spine. <laughs> and with a misalignment at the top, mm -hmm. the problem is quite more severe than just pain. I mean, pain is one of the more common symptoms. Mm -hmm. But if you were to look again at the model, if we have a misalignment in the upper part of the <laughs> spine. It looks painful just seeing you do yeah, that. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> this is where your brain actually. That's the brain stem. Exactly. Yep. The lower portion of the brain is called the brain stem. And that's right. the area that regulates all of the it's everything everything yes. your immune function your yeah. sleep your digestion and yeah. so very often when we have a misalignment at the base of the skull mm -hmm. it affects a wide array of conditions and not just your typical aches and pains so it's a pretty vital area to get right now what would cause misalignments what's the what's a common cause of that sure at the end of the day it's stress Stress. Uh, in today's All lifestyle, yep. In, in yeah. today's world, we're living in probably a more stressful environment than we ever have mm -hmm. with the economy and with terrorism and with not only um, our postural stress, we sit stress. at computers all day, our kids wear backpacks that are not balanced properly. There are many reasons that someone can be stressed. Um, oh, probably, we live our lives in cars. Absolutely. <laughs> in cars, on cell phones, yeah. you name it, we've got right. stress. Mm -hmm. um, so little, little bumps and bruises along the way. Um, mm -hmm. Very often we see, we check people all the way from the day they're born to the day that they die. Mm -hmm. Because if you think about just the birth process, you know, this, <laughs> the, you know, my, all of my girls were cesarean sections, so I don't say it with, with judgment, but that's the worst thing that can be done for a baby's spine because there's a lot of pulling involved. Mm -hmm. And so very often from day one, we develop these pressures that build and we wonder why kids have colic and ear infections and ADHD and all these things. Mm -hmm. Very often it's because from a very young age, we have this We've little- already done this misalignment. This little bit of stress, yeah. yeah. So how do you treat it? Well, it's, it's, it's pretty impressive. It's, it's, um, it's one of the best forms of care that we have found. Um, within upper cervical care, we take this area of utmost importance and respect. Mm -hmm. And so we do um, digital infrared thermography to see when someone actually has a problem and when they don't. Okay. Um, because just like having your blood pressure checked, you could walk around all day not knowing not that knowing. there's pressure on mm -hmm. your heart. Well, we do infrared imaging of the spine to see if there's pressure on the nerves that flow back and forth, regardless if, of the, if there's symptoms or not. So in our office, that's something we do on a daily basis mm -hmm. on every single checkup that we have is we do very specific infrared imaging to see if there is inflammation or pressure in this area. 
And you can find out if it's there and where, and then you go about what do you do to fix so it. So to correct the problem, most people have this idea when we talk about bony alignment, they have a, in their head an image of someone having their spine twisted <laughs> and popped and cracked, I, you know? <laughs> That's the first thing that we go to, but I can promise you it is nothing like that. Not a thing like okay. it. It's What we do is as different in chiropractic as it is an orthopedist and a neurologist. Right. They're both medical doctors, but right. they do totally different things. Different tools, different tests. The approach is different, sure. Absolutely. Yeah. In upper cervicals, the same is no different. Um, we do our infrared imaging to see when someone actually needs care. So mm -hmm. not everybody who comes into my office receives an upper cervical correction or adjustment. Um, we do the infrared imaging. If there is a problem there, then from day one before we start care, we take the very best x-rays on the planet. Um, mm -hmm. They're very digital, three-dimensional x-rays that show us exactly down to the millimeter what is going on with That's someone's going. alignment. Now, you said you have, a, you have quite a few locations, so where yes. are you located around Pittsburgh? Within the Pittsburgh area, our office is in Cranberry Township, in Cranberry and so we're right okay. in the heart of the North Hills, very accessible. Um, we actually have patients that drive up all the way. We take care of um, uh, quite a few people from Steubenville, Ohio, right. um, someone with just very debilitating um, vertigo for years was able to actually be vertigo free for the first time. So vertigo could be something from this. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, if, yeah. if we were to talk yeah. about the types of patients that we see in upper cervical, uh, everything ranging from little kids with yeah. double ear infections, being able to not have the tubes for the third or fourth or umpteenth time put in their ears, be That's able amazing. to actually function normally, right. um, to adults ranging from different neurological symptoms, such as vertigo um, or neurological pains or right. digestive issues. But that was just an example of someone who drives at least an hour to our office because it radically changed the quality of their life. Well, I sure wish we had more time to discuss this because it's just fascinating. Yeah. I thank you so much for being our guest today. And absolutely. once again, we have your number and your website up on our screen. So thank you so much, Dr. It's Boone. absolutely my pleasure. Thanks for if you'd me. like to know more about the Upper Cervical Health Center, just give Dr. Below a call at 724-772-7060. Or you can log on to UpperCervicalCare.com. Now, if you'd like to advertise your products or services on Pittsburgh Living, you can give us a call at 412-575-2400 or email us at showcase at kdka.com. Up next, we'll talk to Dr. Timothy Runco from the Pittsburgh Dental Spa. That is next when Pittsburgh Living continues.